Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings sports fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Today we have, we just have to talk about Shamar Nicholson's performance this weekend in our DTM box. You know, it's been a while since we highlighted a reggae boy player, but you know, this week we had to, to highlight the work of Bowser over there in the Belgian Super League, you know, beating Cassie Open 4-0, three goals, hat-trick, plus an assist. In pretty much 27 minutes, Tiga, 27 minutes, wow, three goals in 27 Im minutes. That's impressive, man. Really impressive. Yeah. And um, he's now up to third in terms of the leading top scorers and 13 goals. Um, After 18 games, so 13 goals, five assists. So we're looking at 18 goal contributions. So that's, if you do the match people, that's one goal contribution per game. Tremendous form, Tiga. Tremendous form. Yes, yes. Good form. Excellent form. Excellent form. And I will be carrying this form into, the, into January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, His performances have been getting a lot of eyes. You know, reports that, you know, over in England, um, we heard that Newcastle sent representatives to look at him twice over there in Belgium. You think now is the time for Bowser to make that move, that big money move? Yeah, man. Because guess what? He's not getting younger. You understand? And if he's in form, need to strike the iron and strike it while it's hot. That's what we always said, you know. Go for it. Anything can happen. People can't say, oh, wait till next season. Go to a lower tier. No. He can wait till next season. Guess what? Injury came into play, can comes into play, and he lose out. Go to a, a, a lower league, injury come into play again, lose out. You understand? We see that happening now to a certain baller where he's been plagued with injury. You understand? And everybody say, Yo, what am I gonna do with him? We don't want this to happen. We need to strike the iron while it's hot. Yeah, and, and we've pretty much seen a steady improvement in, in Shamar's output. You know, the yes. first season, eight goals. Second season, nine. Now he's on 13. First time with double-digit scoring. Um, it looks good. Um, yes. What do you think what you think him can end up with? Over or under 20 goals? Over or under 20 goals? Well, with, with a goal, a game, you know, consistency, yeah, man, we can't say him will go over. If he continue o the over same 20, trend, yeah. yeah, over 20, yeah, we can't say, say yeah, he's going to go over. Um, Where would you like to see him go? Championship? Um, no, the Premiership? No, or like probably him, Germany are, are stay are listen, staying in Belgium. I'd like to see him go to the top of any league. The top of Belgium League, the top of um, Bundesliga, the, the top of EPL. Get into one of the best leagues you can play to show master your skill. That's where I want him to go. I hear some people, as I said before, oh, you need to start a championship because certain players... No, those certain people were born there. You understand? Uh-uh. If you got a chance, if you got an opportunity to go to a, the, the top league, you need to take it. Take it, grab it with two hands. Because guess what? We don't know what tomorrow might bring. Yeah, and um, I must say is his, his distribution and our contribution, I should say. Yes. You know, top class. Um, In terms of Europe, if you look at the, the top leagues, he's, he's doing well. He's right up there with the best. Right, right. So guess what? You need to play with the best. Why you want to demote him? If he's up there, you know, scoring goal, assisting, and do everything that it needs to be a top striker. Why you want to demote him? You need to promote him, man. Let him play with the best. You understand? Yeah. So let him show showcase his skill at the top of any league. Yeah, man, and definitely a breakout season for for Bowser. Scoring right. what almost a goal again, point seven almost goals per goal game. Again. Point mm -hmm. seven goals per game. Right. Good output. Um oh you, oh you see him, you know, you know, in terms of the leading the line for the reggae boys. Is he now 
Jamaica's top striker, perfect number nine. Um, are you still going with Antonio? Guess what? He got a goal in the in the, in, the, in, the, in the qualification. Antonio got two goals in the qualification. No, he got two as well, you know. Mexico two, and, yes, two, and Costa Rica. Yes, yes. yes, two two goals. Sorry, he got two goals in the qualification. Anthony got two goals in the qualification. We have two top striker. You understand? Now the new coach, you understand, need to know to work with two of two top striker up front. You understand? And that would be very good for us. We can sit our front. Our front here, front is very lethal. We have some lethal players up front. So guess what? We're gonna play like like, like, let me do this now. Play like the Brooklyn Nets. Try to shoot really? <laughs> our opponents out of the t- out of the competition. You understand? If we have these yeah. two, outscore them. Like, yeah, outscore them. If we have, it don't make sense. We will put in these two um, player or one of them on the bench. If the two of them is in fine form, guess what? Start them. Start them and see what we can get in the first forty-five minutes, and then we go arm um, goals. You understand? We need to start them. Yeah. Top form. And, and it's funny, you know, because one one is in top form for club, and the other uh-huh. one is in top form for country. Uh-huh. So it's yeah, you know, it, it, it's a funny it's like situation. A it. So if you start the two of them, it's like a miss on it. You understand? If one of the, if one to perform, the other one might perform. But start them. Don't try start them and then put up start one and put on the other one and then expect some. Start two of them one time. That that's what I that's what I, I would do. Um. I looking looking at the scouting report so far score they basically saying that Shamar doesn't have any strengths no real strength but his weakness is is his passing what do you think are the strength for Shamar and his weakness no um you see some of these some of these um guys coming with, the, with these things you know but now the strength weakness and stuff like that Shamar knows what he can do you understand he knows what he can do maybe not possible well but he knows what he can do you understand and if if it's that, I uh, say that if it's that is it is weakness, uh can't pass the ball properly, then he need to work on that. You understand? But guess what? If he has an eye for goal, that's all a striker need. A high for goal. You understand? Midfielder pass the ball, striker score goal. That is my philosophy. Yeah. Um, last thing. Is club Charlie Roy. Um bought him for one point something million. I think it's one point yes. three or one point five million. Right. How much you think? How much you think him worth currently? All right, yeah. You know, I think he has a breakout season, and with this breakout season, I think his stock is is risen. We're looking at like a a, 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 a ten, a seven to ten million. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's unreasonable, Tiger. Yeah, that's but... unreasonable. Reasonable. Um, he's you know developed well and he's he's comfortable now. Right. So we can't really judge him on the, the first couple of seasons. He's, he's well settled Definitely. with his team now and the team playing through him. Um, so there you have it, fans. Shamar Bowser Nicholson. Starring up, lighting up, setting the Belgian league on fire. 13 goals, 5 assists over there. Doing a lot of good work. His team now pushing to for one of those Champions League spots. And right. if they don't get that, there's always a Europa League. But they're pushing. So let us know in the comment section what you think about Shamar Nicholson's season so far. Do you think he's now Jamaica's number one striker or is he still behind Mikel Antona? Let us know in the comment section below. And I want to wish all the DTM viewers and subscribers a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year when it comes from the DTM family to yours. And always remember, like, share and subscribe.